there is so much beauty in our world, yet I have to ask, what's it gonna take for mankind to wake up and realize we can't carry on the way we have been? Around the world, animal species are on the brink of extinction. In Africa, everything from the big cats, lions, cheetahs, leopards, to hyenas, wild dogs, mountain gorillas, chimpanzees, just to name a few of the animals, the big ones, they're all threatened. There is once again a vibrant trade taking place in elephant ivory and thousands of elephants are being poached, slaughtered for their ivory which is going to a new and uh, wealthier Chinese uh, society. As money grows, people want the things they shouldn't or couldn't have before. So like I said, once again, elephants are being slaughtered. But it's not just uh, Africa and the elephants. You can go into the ocean and see uh, tens of millions of sharks being slaughtered for their fins. Many times there's video of sharks being caught, pulled up onto the boat, their fins cut off while they're still alive and their live bodies tossed back into the ocean and not only small sharks I mean it's already the shark population is being decimated but think about whale sharks the slow gentle whale sharks are now being killed for their fins reefs are dying coral reefs in Russia they have snow leopards and did you know that Russia also has tigers they're virtually gone again poaching for their bones it's unbelievable India and the tigers the Asian rhinoceros Asian elephant but it's not only the big creatures butterflies bees and now I can't believe that here in North America even things like the moose are disappearing oh there's a moose that's a moose, and it was kneeling down. Oh. See, you never know what you're going to see when you come around a corner. It was kneeling down and drinking maybe salty water from the side. Holy cow. What are the chances of that? That's not a very old moose either. Is it? It's not no, and he's not bothered at all. Uh, a little boy, do you think? I don't know. No. That was just perfect because we're... We've seen a few moose this year. And I always get excited because they're big and cumbersome and it's hard to imagine them going through the forest. But it's even harder for me to imagine that they're disappearing at a drastic and dramatic rate. It's kneeled back down again too. This is what happens when Cindy and I go out. I've said this a million times. You never know what we're going to see, what we're going to find. There's a truck that came up and he's going by. <laughs> Not moving. <laughs> So I'm going to move up a little bit closer, here comes another car. One Minnesota moose population has fallen from 4,000 animals to less than 100 in the last 20 years. 100! What's it gonna take? The only moose will be in uh, game farms, zoos. Only place you'll be able to see tigers, lions, elephants will be game farms and zoos. What's it gonna take for people to wake up? Central America, South America, even frogs. And some frog species have actually gone extinct. As scientists were trying to collect every last one of them to put them into collections for preserving the species. Are we so how fun for us. Arrogant or dreamy or greedy or whatever that everything has a price. 
That's, yeah, I think it's, that's probably a female because it does have a lower hanging belly on it. It really pisses me off because I know that 50, 60 years ago in the 50s and 40s, even in Africa, animals were plentiful in such a short time. Our generation has devastated the population. And we're doing it with everything. And it is about greed. Okay, so we're coming back now and the moose had crossed the road. And uh, just down here in the trees. I get so excited when I see something like this. To be a part of it. And it's it just unbelievable to me that the next generations might not be able to experience anything like this. And once again, the decline of the moose population is blamed in part to climate change. There's a kind of tick that infects moose in such huge numbers that they perish. There's been uh, t uh, programs, documentaries about Alberta where moose are being infected by the winter ticks. And uh, it, it's absolutely un unreal about what's happening. I never realized that it would happen on a massive scale. If you love nature, if you love wildlife, I mean, for Pete's sakes, please. Let politicians know that we can't carry on the way it's going. It's not just about pipelines and oil and all the things that they're pushing through that are impacting our climate. The biggest things we're going to face in the future as a civilization will be climate change, global warming, and health care. And uh, I plan to make a lot more movies or videos about these because Eating it's, snow. it's important for us all to be a part of the solution and not the problem. Thank you for watching.